Hi and welcome back to Mass Effect with me at Nitty. Last time we discovered this little section here between the wards and the Presidium and today we will continue exploring that bit. So how are you liking your posting at the Academy? It's good. It's busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but we could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Oh, nice. Uh, these little con conversations. Uh, now, here we have the signal source yeah, from the... Was bounced the signal off a hidden relay. I'll trace the new signal. Ah, so it's a search and search quest. Uh, follow the signal to the Presidium, okay. At least it's more or less on the uh, route. So let's take this elevator. Oh, come on. Ah, okay. Didn't hit it correctly. There hasn't been any rapid transit things there. Later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Yes, uh, we actually discovered that stuff and got her the data. So, uh, Kaiden, nice armor you have there. Nice color. And nice motion blur. Ah, there we are. That's actually also not the Presidium, is it? Ah, it is. Ah, I see, okay. I've not been here, though. Perhaps we'll find another keeper. Mm, nope. Ah, yes we do, actually. Have I taken this rapid transit before? Um, now let's see, over there we have the tower, obviously. Here we have the seasick officer. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? And what is the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Okay, I'll talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Well... This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Why well, you need a permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Well, uh, I'll give them to you in order to get Paragon points. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar. But you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I'm not doing it for the Enkindlers, I'm doing it for Paragon points, hopefully. Uh, I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. 150? Excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Well, no, not 150, but that's okay. Um, what's next? So, 
Over there we have one of the keepers and we haven't scanned it. Nice, nice. I don't know why, but we haven't. Now we have. So... Any more keepers? And any more locations I have to go? I have to go to the bank, I have to go to the consort. Okay, lots to do. So let's continue. Wish I could uh, run a bit faster. So that's a mini mass relay. Yeah, okay. That's actually a nice, nice thing you have here. I doubt uh, gravity would be strong enough down here from the mass of, of the station, but okay. To hold the water and air uh, down. So, how can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Actually, I think go? I did not want to talk to you. Goodbye, oh, signal source. As best I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the Presidium. How can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Do you know something about no? Okay. Go. Goodbye, command. Uh, is that one? Mr. Bathia. And, uh, ah, the signal source over there. Good. Any keepers? No. No. Up here, uh, we have one, but we scanned that one. And here we have the source. Uh, yet the source. Good. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self destruct protocol. That could be a problem. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. So, you're a sentient machine? You're not just a program or a BI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Yes, okay, but why do you want to explode? Can we resolve this peacefully? What are you, crazy? It's an AI, like the Geth. It would kill us all if it could. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. And why exactly? Uh, reason. Yeah, what's the reason for self-destruction? Why can't we talk about this? What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. And who created you? Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. So again, uh, and who wears well? No, let's see. Enough talk or you're bluffing? Enough talk. I'll bet that self destruct sequence has a warm up period. You may attempt to disarm the self destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. 
All right, so I can. What can I do? What do I have to do? Uh, Ah. I see. Ah, okay. Nice. So we got a bit of money. And we kind of disarmed that thing. Good, good, good. Is that everything? Or does it have a follow up? No, this was everything. Well then, to the... to Shaira. And any keepers around? There's one, but we scanned that one. Any other keepers, there is one, but I think we also scanned that one. I went very often when it was still the yeah. uh, we did. So I'll have to go to Shaira. Hope I can do it without talking to the receptionist. Uh, looks like I can. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Well, that's okay. It's my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Um, it depends. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Well, of course I will keep surviving, otherwise the game would be over. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know what astute means, but I guess it's okay. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Yeah. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay, thanks. I don't know how these words will give me strength though, but that's okay. So, anything happening in here? No? Hello again. The consort is very pleased with everything that you have done for her. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. <laughs> yes, I think I'm done here. Good. So, let's see. Map. We have still this guy. Uh, perhaps I can spend some points now. Um, let's see. Squad. Uh, one into charm. I won't go into Intimidate, but do I need these? Well, I'll take them for now, but... Anyways, uh, combat armor... Heavy armor. That sounds okay. And two more into Soldier, why not? Health regeneration and more health. That sounds useful. Good. Kaiden. He can do a bit more decryption and a bit more electronics. That's good. 
and Garrus. Garrus, Garrus, Garrus. He should. Ah, uh, he's. Ah, uh, he's as well. Electronic encryption. Good, so he can do electronics and decryption. I think it's important to upgrade these. Because we need to uh, unlock new things. I do want to get some other party member eventually that can do um, other things non-tech related things good but now let's see uh, we are here do we have any keepers down there that we haven't scanned I don't know perhaps we can now talk to him and resolve this Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will you uh, there's my a wife problem. Yes, 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 yes. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. And she can still help. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha. And now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Good, good. That went very well. Uh, we can go to Selton. Uh huh. Is that the one that is complaining about things? So, um, you may see that I'm trying to do as many side quest related things as possible before the next main quest. I don't know why, but just doing it. Like that. Uh, shouldn't there be a keeper? Why is there no keeper? That's strange. Strained greeting, human. <coughs> this is really not a good time. I can help you. Your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. There should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Well, yes, okay, but what secret is it anyway? I guess you'll be fine. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So, uh, everyone can access your uh, party pictures that you don't want to be uploaded to the internet, <laughs> but it happened anyways, right? Uh, don't I'm worry. Sure forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. What's he doing with his eyes? Thankful. <laughs> that was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Sure, your clan stands to profit from this in some way. Okay, and strange strange Ah, uh, that's other plants, yes, yes. Scan two more keepers. Oh man, could be everywhere. The fan, nothing to do there, and Chelic in C sec. 
Ok. C-Sec Office. I guess we'll continue their next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day and goodbye.